Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Ethereum Classic's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, Classic Technical Analysis, and also Indicators. Now, if you are a newbie, I should tell you that in this area, in my opinion, there is a very high chance that we're going to have a correction on the upside and not an impulsive movement. And this correction can be in the front forms, but I think we may have a w x y z in form of a triple zigzag and here is our first abc up into wave w correction for wave x our second abc in here into our wave y another correction for wave x and this might be our final abc on the upside into our wave z completing this triple zigzag structure now from this side does this mean that we are going to go straight down in an attempt to set new lows and take the lowest low in these areas this is going to be, in my opinion, actually one likely scenario. But we can consider some other possibilities. And for example, we can say, well, okay, despite the fact that we are having a correction and structure in here, we're going to get maybe another move on the upside. And then at that point, we're going to get a move down in attempt to set in loss. This is also another possibility in ETC's pressure. And which one is going to be in play? At the moment, at least, I cannot tell you for sure. Now, let's summon a bit more. There we go. You see? When we were somewhere on these areas, I was saying, well, okay, because in here we cannot have a 5-wave impulsive structure on the outside because in any scenario, wave 3 is going to be the smallest wave. If we get like a move up from this area and take this region here, that's actually going to be a great sign that suggests more likely than not, our move up is not over yet in ETC structure. But as you can see, after this sideways movement, we got actually another move on the outside. And now I can tell you, look, this might actually be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure on the other side in form of an expanding leading diagonal, which is very much bearish. And I can tell you, well, okay, this might be, according to the worst case scenario, 5 down into a larger to give 8 1. And then we're going to have a correction for wave 2. And after it, maybe a huge move down into wave 3, 4, 5 in an attempt to set new lows and take the lowest low, which if I just do this and do this there we go as you can see it's somewhere around let's say 12 and a half dollars now this can be also a five wave down into a larger degree wave a and then we are going to have a move on the upside and thereafter another move down into our ceiling and hopefully in this move down we are not actually going to take the low slow in these areas and after this abc is over we are going to get another move on the upside so what's the point that i'm trying to make in here you see basically right now we can have two different scenarios but in all of them it seems like that we want to get a move on the upside which can be actually a bullish sign in short to meta now based on that let's go on h1 time frame there we go okay you see, if you want to say that this is a 5 wave down, these might be the subways first. 5 down into 1, correction for wave 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down into wave 3 to somewhere around here. Correction for 4, probably in form of a triangle structure, and then another move down into wave 5, which basically suggests that the bottom, at least temporary, is going to be in on ETC spread chart. So, right now, does this mean that it's going to be the time to be bullish? Maybe not yet. You see? If you want to say that we are going to get a solid move on the upside in ETC, you need to see a series of high lows first. And then in this move up, we need to get back above this very, very important level right in here, which the lower band of it is about, let's say, 24 and the higher band of it is about 25 and a half dollars. If we get a move up and we get back above this level, fair enough, we are going to have a solid move on the upside in ETC. But right now, in my opinion, it's actually a bit too soon to be that optimistic. Now, let's just delete this one. There we go. Let's go on 15 minute chart and zoom in a bit more. Okay. So, if you remember, in the previous videos about ETC, we were somewhere around these areas. And I was saying, okay, this can be a 5 up. And followed by that, we may have a correction down. Fair enough. And after that, we may actually get another move on the upside. And as you can see, we are finally having that move up. Now, here is a very important point and I need you to pay full attention to what I'm about to say right now. In my opinion, in ETC, if we get a move down from the current point and in that move, we take this low right in here and maybe even this one at that point, there is going to be a very high chance that 
this whole move right in here is just going to be a correction structure maybe an abc maybe a wxy and generally not an impulsive movement and it means okay most likely that move up that we talked about earlier is not actually going to happen from the current point and before that we are going to get another move down in our time to take the lowest low in this region about let's say 18 dollars so you see taking this low right in here in like very short term about let's say 20 and a half dollars is actually going to be in my opinion a very very important bearish sign that suggests our move down is not going to be up so why is it you see let's say well okay this is going to be a bullish scenario playing out are you going to say for example this is our wave one correction for wave two and then we're gonna have like big move up into wave three four five well if this scenario is going to be in play fair enough then these are probably the sub waves for this larger degree wave three for example five up into one and then a correction structure for wave two and followed by that we're going to get another big move up into wave three and four and five now first let's change the colors to white for this wave there we go and so a bit more here is what i have in my mind if you want to say that this point is going to be the end of our wave two well okay are we going to have the sub waves for this wave three right in here and if we are going to have it well okay are you going to say this is one two and then three four five well according to this scenario wave three in here is going to be the smallest wave which is not allowed in any other waves in another scenario are you going to say this is for example to somewhere around this point yeah sure five up into a wave one and then we're gonna have like a correction for wave two to somewhere around the recent price action and it can be maybe in form of a running flat or maybe an expanded flat because i really really don't think that's going to be the case why because you see if you measure the length of this move up right in here and compare it to this wave one as you can see they are actually pretty matched in terms of size and to me this means more like than not this move is actually going to be on the same degree as this one right in here and i guess technically technically the most likely scenario can be a series of one or twos for example you can say this is going to be another one or two and then let's put the end of a break three four five in here let's actually do this excuse me there we go and let's change the colors to orange sure and follow by that we are having another one or two but from a lower degree relative to this one or two in here and let's change the colors to maybe gray. sure and in here we may have another one or two structure and after this wave two is over we're going to get a continuation of the move up into this wave three and four and five and let's change the colors to blue now here's a very important point what is going to happen if we get a move down and take this low right in here at that point this five up is not going to be a valid possibility anymore and because this correction structure is way too large also this five wave up right in here is not going to be a possibility and because of pretty much the same reason this is also not acceptable and also this one and also this one and it means more like than not whatever move that we are going to have in this area chances are it's actually going to be a correction on the upside and not an impulsive movement and again to me at least it means that we are going to get a continuation of the move down in etc in our time to take this low right in here about let's say 18 dollars now what is going on in terms of indicators let's go on weekly time frame zoom in a bit more in here excuse me there we go okay as you can see in stock rsi in weekly chart we are having a buy signal this can be a bullish sign fair enough but i would argue if you want to be bullish with a lot of confidence you need to actually wait a bit more and see also a buy signal in my team and at that point fair enough maybe we are going to get like a solid move on the upside but in my opinion right now it's too soon to be absolutely bullish and in daily time frame okay we are getting a buy signal in macd and stock rsi and this thing suggests in like very short time we might get again a solid move on the upside but this is a very important point if we are going to get a move up and we want to be bullish in etc we just do not need to see a move down in our time to take this low right in here about 20 and a half dollars if we see a move down from the current point and net we're going to take this low right in here at that point there's a very high chance that this whole move right in here in ethereum classic is just going to be a correction on the upside and after it's over we are going to get a move down 
in our time to take the lowest low in this area about $18. So I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in Ethereum Classic's price chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.